Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a look at the updates coming to the Druid artifacts in the upcoming patch 7.2. 7.2 is expanding our artifacts with new research, new traits, and a new set of appearances. In this video, I'm going to take a look at each of the four Druid artifact weapons to see their new traits and challenge appearances. Every artifact weapon for all classes has the same Paragon trait in 7.2, Concordance of Legion Fall. This is what you'll be spending most of your time powering up. It gives your abilities a chance to proc bonus main stat for 10 seconds, with higher points meaning a bigger stat proc. On top of that, there are three cool new traits and one generic one that are specific to each artifact. Let's take a look. Guardian Druids will start with Fortitude of the Cenarian Circle, granting 10% damage, 10% stamina, and 12% armor. That's a single point trait, so you'll have a big early boost to your survivability. Next, you can put four ranks in Scintillating Moonlight. Each rank reduces the damage done to you by enemies with your Moonfire by 1%. They're really doubling down on the laser bear thing. Next, there's a one rank trait called Flesh Knitting. Aside from having a lovely name, Flesh Knitting gives your Frenzied Regeneration an additional charge. The fourth Guardian trait is currently named Positive Outlook, and I sincerely hope it keeps that name when the patch goes live. Your Thrash will have a 15% chance to trigger an extra Thrash, which is just going to make you a big wiggly bear. The new Guardian Challenge artifact appearance is called Might of the Grizzlemaw, and it's a werebear. You can earn the color variance by completing various activities using the challenge appearance after you unlock the first one in your single player class challenge. Feral Druids start with Ferocity of the Scenarian Circle, granting them 10% damage and stamina. Next, you can put 4 points into Thrashing Claws, increasing the damage of your Thrash by up to 20%. Fury of Ashamane is a single point trait that causes your Tiger's Fury to grant 600 versatility to you and 4 allies for 10 seconds. I'm assuming those are random allies. Stopping to pick your 4 favorite people would put a real damper in your rotation. The fourth Feral trait is Bloodletter's Frailty, which causes your Ashamane's Frenzy to buff your Feral damage against afflicted targets by 30%. The Feral Challenge appearance is called Ghost of the Pride Mother. Kitties with elderly computers might want to be cautious with this one. It's got massive armor claws in the front legs and some very flashy effects. Balanced Druids start with Radiance of the Scenarian Circle, granting 10% damage and stamina. From there, you'll put 4 points into Light of the Evening Star, buffing your Starfall damage by a total of 12%. Wax and Wane is a single point trait which lets your Moonfire Dot buff the direct damage of your next Moonfire. You can get up to 5 stacks of that buff, and each stack gives an extra 5% damage. Finally, Circadian Innovation causes your Dots to increase the Arcane and Nature damage you do to the target by 1%, stacking up to 6 times. These new traits will cement Boomkin's position as a Dot-based spec that excels on sustained multi-target fights. The challenge appearance for balance is the Mana Scythe, which actually looks pretty simple. The Scythe Blade does look blindingly bright though, so maybe it'll still grab some attention. Finally, my personal favorite Druid spec, Resto. You start with Grace of the Scenarian Circle, giving you 10% healing, damage, and stamina. Put 4 points into Eternal Restoration to increase the length of your Essence of the Hanir by 1 second per point. Joy of Spring empowers Efflorescence by up to 20% on targets that continue standing in it, which should be really huge on stacked rates. Finally, Deep Rooted causes your Rejuves, Regrowths, and Wild Growth to refresh themselves when they heal a target below 35%. The last thing that you want to be doing in that situation is refreshing a Falling Hot, so that'll be really nice to have. For the challenge appearance, Resto Druids can collect the Knight's Vigilance look. It has an owl! I can see the purple RBG appearance in particular being very popular for those that can unlock it. In total, you'll be able to empower your artifact up to 92 traits, which takes over 81 trillion artifact power. To make that a little bit less insane, you'll be able to collect artifact research up to a new level of 50 for a 55.2 million percent increase of artifact power gains. Any points that you've invested into your old stacking trait will be refunded, so you'll get a head start on those new traits right away. So, those are the new traits and appearances for Druid Artifacts. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!